Today we're going to build some new struts and spring combo for this little neon over here. The parts we needed are new struts, the uh, strut mount, one for each, springs, spring compressors, and this little tool here. This bolt here on the top, and this little twist bolt here, that one's a 10 millimeter, and this bigger one here is a 13 16. You'll see how important this is later. Okay, so the spring compressors are on. Now we're going to compress the spring. Just a quick comparison of the compressed spring sitting beside an uncompressed spring. Make all the difference in the world when you're trying to put that spring on that strut. Okay, so the spring's compressed. You want to bring that spring right into its groove here. In the strut mount kit, it's going to come with this little bag of hardware here. These are for right here, and these are for attaching it to the frame at the end. You're going to put the first one down. Strut cat goes on. And then the second. Now we're going to apply the bolt. Now to get a little bit more on this here. You can see it's just an extension with one of my 10 millimeters on it and it goes through. Now when you use one of these you have to use one that's got a place for your wrench. But you've got to be able to tighten this up. You see? That's going to go on there and that's going to keep your 10 millimeter in place and the big one's going to go down and that's going to allow you to turn the large bolt without twisting the small one. Now I'm going to get this good and tight and then I'm, I'm going to check my book for the torque specs on this particular bolt and I'm going to go from there. Alright, two done struts ready to put on the car. Um, took between 25 and 30 minutes most of that time is wrenching the spring compressors to get the springs compressed enough to get on there. Once that's done, compressing and uncompressing, you only get about 5-10 minutes of work in. Thanks for watching guys. Later.